I'm with the creator of The Fifth Beetle, Vivek. Tell me about The Fifth Beetle. So The Fifth Beetle is a graphic novel, and we're also developing a feature film based on the graphic novel, and it's uh, based on the life of Brian Epstein, who was the Beatles' manager. Um, Brian discovered the Beatles when they were not even the most popular band in Liverpool. Uh, they were a relatively popular Liverpool band playing small clubs, and he was incredibly moved and inspired by what he saw. He saw a band that he thought would inspire the entire world, and he believed that they would become pop culture icons. He said that they would be bigger than Elvis. And uh, Brian was gay and Jewish, and obviously from Liverpool. And in the 1960s, those were three significant obstacles. It was a felony to be gay. It was literally against the law. There was a lot of anti-Semitism in the United Kingdom. And Liverpool uh, was a port town, but there was nothing cultural going on there. So for this gay Jewish man from Liverpool to say, I found a local band, and they're going to be bigger than Elvis, it was laughable. you know. And much like you, everybody laughed. Um, but it was a dream that he had, and he chased it relentlessly, and he was right. Uh, so it's an incredibly inspiring story, and it's a little-known Beatles story as well. So I'm really excited to be telling it. Now, something very unique about the fifth Beatle and the movie is you have the full approval from the Beatles, correct? Yes, uh, the, the film uh, will include Beatles music, which is unprecedented. It really is a first. Uh, we have a deal that we signed with Sony ATV, who control the Beatles music publishing, uh, which allows us to have access to the entire uh, Lennon-McCartney uh, Beatles music catalog for the film. We are literally the first film ever uh, to have gotten those, those uh, approvals and those rights. Um, there have been other Beatles films, as I'm sure you're aware, and if you go back and look at any of those films, none of them have had Beatles music in it. So we're very, very honored uh, to say that. And... Um, the film is knee-deep in development right now. Uh, we announced just uh, last week that Bruce Cohen, uh, who's Academy Award winner and a lovely guy, uh, is going to be producing the film for us. So um, we're very, very lucky to have Bruce on board. Uh, you know, he's produced, uh, he won the Academy Award for American Beauty, uh, nominated two other times for Milk and Silver Linings Playbook, and he also produced Big Fish for Tim Burton. And The Fifth Beetle, is, it's a period piece, uh, as I said, about a gay Jewish man from Liverpool, who in, in a lot of ways was the ultimate outsider. And the piece also has dream sequences, hallucination sequences. It's also about the birth of the psychedelic era. It starts off in 1961 and ends in 1967. Um, so it does get a lot more fanciful. So you can sort of see with, uh, with Bruce's background, you know, Big Fish, Milk, Silver Linings Playbook, American Beauty. You know, it, it, the, all these films kind of have the DNA of the fifth Beatle in them. So we're very, very excited about the film. Well, there's no doubt it will be beautiful, I'm sure, but you have to tell me, what do you want people to take away from not only your writing, but also the movie? Yeah, so, you know, ultimately, it is a great Beatles story. There's no question about that. And most of the research that I did for this project came from interviews. You know, uh, the Brian Epstein story has never really been properly chronicled before. And a lot of these people that I spoke to were telling their stories to me for the first time. So if you're a Beatles fan, it is a special treat. You know, you'll learn about how he came up with the suits and the haircuts, how he got them a record deal when no one wanted to sign them, how he convinced Ed Sullivan to book the band when a British band had never made an impact in the United States. That's a wonderful story. I'm a huge Beatles fan myself, and it's all in the book, and that's all well and good. Um, however, it, it really is the human side of Brian's story that to me is most important and is what has really inspired me. You know, the, I, I mentioned it before, he, I think of Brian as the ultimate outsider. You know, the guy that, um, that chased a dream. You know, and, uh, and that's what has been so inspiring to me. I'm a, I'm a fir I was born in New York, but I'm a first-generation American. My, my family goes, uh, traces our origins back to India. And you don't see a lot of young people of Indian ethnicity uh, pursuing the fields that I'm pursuing, film, television, theater, graphic novels, you know, with the exception of Bollywood, which is a very specific thing that I don't do. Um, you know, I've also felt like an outsider in, in my chosen fields. So, so Brian Epstein's human story has been incredibly inspiring to me. And so I'm hoping that when people read this book and, and learn this story, that they will find themselves inspired to chase their dreams in much the way that Brian inspired me to chase mine. Um, and the other thing I would like to say is that we also, I'm very proud to say, uh, announced a partnership with Freedom to Marry, which is a mar marriage equality organization. You know, it was a felony to be gay in, in Brian's day and age. And uh, these days, you know, uh, more and more states and the United Kingdom are, are passing uh, marriage equality um, for, for gay people. And I think Brian... Uh, you know, it, he would have been amazed to have seen that happening. So I also hope that people will be will finish this book and will be um, will be uh, will will un have an increased awareness of the importance of that struggle and the the difference that one gay man made in introducing the world to a band whose whose entire message was about love. So I'm also hoping that they'll walk away with a little bit more uh, awareness of that issue. 
Well, I cannot wait to read it and watch it. So congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. And it, it's coming out on November 19th. So November 19th, folks. Yeah. Thank you very much.